Today I'll be talking about how to install an old app for your iPad or iPhone onto a new iTunes account that doesn't have any apps. So for example, let's say you were given an old iPad 2 like this and you wouldn't install YouTube or YouTube Kids. Well the problem is you if you get a new iTunes or App Store account there's no way to add those old apps. And so what I'm going to show you here is basically you'll need a newer iPad or iPhone to install the app or purchase the app onto the iTunes account. Once you've done that you can go ahead and try to use this special technique that someone else found. I deserve no credit for it. Someone else found it. I just happened to repost it so it's easier to find. And if you want to figure out who the original finder of that was, I can tell you. I don't like taking credit for anyone else's work. So sorry about the long-winded thing. So here's my old iPad 2. If I want YouTube on this account that I created, this is the account over here, AlexQC3. And so when I go into the App Store and I look for YouTube. This is actually my two-year-old son's iPad. I won't be winning any uh, Father of the Year awards. And you don't want to know how soon he was using an iPad. So I'll probably get in trouble for that. And so th this is uh, YouTube. And when I try to get it, It'll try to install and it'll give me that usual error. It's too old. You don't have permissions, yada, yada, yada. I don't know how long this is going to take. You might need to press it one more time. And you get the famous, oh, unable to purchase. Apple does it all the time. Okay, so now what you do is you go into settings on your newer iPad if you have one. I'm sorry if you don't have one. Find a friend who has a newer iPad or go to the Apple store and tell them your situation. You say, I have this new iTunes account. I just need to borrow or I need you to help me fix this. I need to. I need a newer iPad so I can install this app onto my Apple ID. I don't need to log into iCloud. I just need to put my Apple ID, add this app, whatever. So here I have, uh, I, go, I went into settings and I added my new Apple ID for iTunes and App Store. This is running iOS 12. It's an old iPad Air and guess whose iPad this is? This is actually my two-year-old's iPad because this runs too slow and it gets frustrated sometimes and hits it and then tries to hit me. So I was nice. I gave him an old iPad Air and he enjoys it a little bit better because it runs a little faster but anyways when this thing runs out of battery i let him use this thing and so i added the new itunes account and to, just to show you now when i go into the app store let's go click done here and i search for youtube search for youtube you can see that i don't have it yet is over there get and if I were to go back to the today thing here so I can click on my my name this is a great part finding what apps you've installed is or purchased is kind of difficult now there's no purchase tab over here you gotta click on some face icon then scroll to your purchased and then type in or scroll through the the apps you have so anyways I'm at the purchase tab and I'm gonna put in YouTube I don't have it okay but this is a newer iPad and I did search for YouTube here's YouTube and I'm gonna actually try to install it now get YouTube so go ahead and install by installing it you're basically purchasing it I'm gonna take a second to put in my password Sorry. Uh, 
And here you go, it's installing. Purchased, and now it's installing. So now it's available on here. What people have told me is they've tried this. I'll just go require. They said, even after doing this, when I go back to here, back to my old iPad, and I go to apps and settings, it shows that it's not available. Well, over here, I've got lucky. It updated, and now it shows YouTube, watch, listen, and stream. Um, I'll again try clicking on this. It goes unable to purchase. It's not compatible. Okay, maybe I was wrong. This is what I'm talking about. When you go to the purchase tab, is YouTube there? It actually, it's actually there. And I got lucky this time, as I said before. If I go back to the search criteria over here and do YouTube, it's not updated where it says it's been purchased and I can just download it off the iCloud. But as I've said before, uh, I've, I've, I've messaged people back and I said to one, you can try to force close App Store. This BTS app isn't mine, it's my niece's. Uh, please don't mind me. So force close, App Store. Again, double click the home. And then swipe up to force close the App Store. You can see how difficult it can be sometimes. And go back in. And I'm going to search for YouTube. This isn't updated, but if I go into purchased again, YouTube is available. Uh, if this, you know, force closing doesn't work, again, power down your iPad by pressing the power button and holding it so you can shut it off. And then once you shut it off, reset, you know, turn the power back on. Hopefully that updates it so that when you go back into uh, the App Store and you click on purchased over here on the bottom you'll see YouTube if you have a bunch of apps for some reason even though this is supposed to be a new uh, I iCloud account or I mean iTunes account just type in over here where it says search purchase apps and you can put in YouTube you can see it comes out okay now here's the fun part will it work Click on YouTube, and then it asks, it asks the famous message, do you want to download it, the last compatible version, and then you say download, and it does it. Okay, there's a caveat to all of this. Uh, what if you try, I tried it on with Snapchat, and it doesn't work. Well, Snapchat never had an older version for iPad 2, so it'll never be available on here. For example, I do have this installed on my newer iPad, Snapchat. But you can see the little cloud icon saying I have it. I can also go to my account and look at purchased. And you can see I, I do have Snapchat over here. But when I go back to over here under my purchased apps, there's no Snapchat at all for this old iPad. So again, this will work for some apps like Netflix maybe, for what do you call it, YouTube, but other apps like Snapchat or even Hulu. Hulu pretty much shut the door for people. And this is more on the Hulu side rather than Apple side. Hulu won't even let you log in. So it all depends on the person maintaining the app or company maintaining the app if they want to allow you to still use it. And so I thought I'd make this video just to show you, yeah, you if you have a new iTunes account, you will need two, two devices, the old device and some, your, hopefully you have a newer device. If you don't have an iPad, you can use an iPhone. 
I don't have my iPhone around here, but you can use your iPhone like this. <laughs> this is one of my extra iPhone successes. And maybe, because the problem is tablet uh, apps and phone apps are sometimes different, but just try installing it on your phone, newer phone, and see if you can see the difference back on the tablet. Uh, doing on the phone sometimes might not work and so I have I haven't tried it with the phone though so it's almost uninstalling and that's pretty much it this is really sl slow iPad it has no space at all I guess I'll spend this last few minutes to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of letting your child use an iPad at a young age. The great thing is it entertains them for a while. The bad thing is it really makes them act out sometimes. They really always want their iPad even when it's time to go to sleep. And so you really have to enforce screen time with your little little one, your little one-year-old or two-year-old. So. It's not recommended, but if you have a lot of kids, uh, you know, do what you gotta do. I don't judge. You can judge me, but I won't judge you. And so it's finally open. Now I'm on to YouTube, and I think it'll work. And so this this should hopefully work still with Netflix. Good luck. Over and out.